Welcome back to the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. We've just seen Interloper at last year's event champion get a victory over Jack Freestone in the round of 32. Keeping his dreams alive of going back to back here. This is where he got his first championship to a win. A big result there for Interloper as we now cut back to the lineup. And this is Kanoa Igarashi getting things started up against Adrian Bucket. Nice looking wave standing up here. Bangs through the lip. And looking to finish this one off right on the inside. Kanoa Igarashi up in Heat 15. Thanks for joining us on the Fox Sports Network. Igarashi getting things started against Adrian Buck and the Australian. Meanwhile, the other Heat in the lineup, Heat 14, the round of 32. Whatever he's been doing in the offseason is working really well. As you watch the replay here of Kanoa Igarashi, you know, not one of the bigger waves, but identifying that it's going to have a clean line on it, getting that warm up going. You know, this is pretty solid conditions. You wouldn't think that a ton of these competitors have had to serve. Had one of his best finishes on the CT right here at Bells Beach. So, obviously, feel me having to pay attention. So, all of a sudden, you, your windows of opportunity to go in and get people are very short. You need to get there before they get into serious trouble. Here we go. Kanoe Garashi up. And he 15 up against Adrian Bucken. Had a 6.17 on his first wave. And now looking for that solid backup number. Gets out in front of it. Getting back to the power source here. Nice little rebound. Just adding some extras. No huge points just yet, but flowing nicely through to the inside. Sticks the floating re-entry. And still has a little bit of room to move here. Starting to gather some more speed. Up into the pocket once again. Nothing ultra dynamic, but just adding to that scoreline and starting to build some pressure on Adrian Bucket. He's a little bit more uh, risk involved. I mean, a nice first bottom turn, really loaded up and went straight up in the lip. You know, again, not going to be a gigantic number, probably won't go into the excellent range. But ultimately, it's a great base to start off on. If you, get, if you figure if you are in a non-priority heat before and you get double digits kind of loaded up on your score line before you go into the priority part of it, your job done. And he did get this bonus on the inside. He, he just felt like, oh yeah, it's just a, a, another step. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. And sure enough, he was there very early. Adrian Bucken getting into his first ride here. Nice looking wall standing up. You can see that brace on that front knee. Injured himself in the lead up to the first event of the season. But really worked hard on rehabbing himself and getting that knee right. The competition was glad that he was able to put the jersey on at the first event of the season. Why he has the brace on it, you see right here, he's just kind of stabilize it. And that's the hard part with uh, an injured knee like that. Those are the stabilizer muscles, and it's a hinge that you have to have. It's very important. So he's got this brace on there, and there's some amazing braces out there now, which allow you to compete at a high level. I the entire wave from the start to finish in order to, to see yourself into the good range. As we watch a replay here of the last wave of Kanoa Igarashi, that scores in at a 5.9, so he picks up an extra half a point against Ace Bucket. And again, to see his wave choice, he's choosing the smaller ones, but it's giving him opportunity throughout the entire run. ...into play once again, so we're seeing a lot of waves ridden. Very entertaining as Adrian Bucken jumps into another ride here. You're watching the Rip Curl Pro here at Bells Beach. Adrian Bucket and Heat 15. Up against Kanoa Igarashi was looking for a score out of that ride, 6.7 foot. And that midsection, whereas Ace on much bigger waves, he gets his first maneuver done, but the wave shuts down on him quickly. You know, he had the 5 3 3, so he's matching Kanoa as far as the scoring ratio is concerned. But this right here, a bailout and just a 2.67 for his efforts. Watching the replay here, Ace Bucket, little different choice of wave here. He's moved up the point and uh, picking up a smaller wave to hopefully find the outside section standing up for him. Jack Perry, such a great surfer. There's uh, plenty of them in these parts, but have a look. Adrian Bucken up at the moment. That knee brace looks like it's coming apart a little bit on him. And he's going to just concentrate on the job at hand. And what a job he's done on that final section, getting that tail free. And still adding extras, climbs the foam and still managing to hang on to that move. 
wrestling with the whitewater. The knee brace practically hanging off his leg. So hard to perform, Pete, if you, your leg ropes between your toes. And here's Adrian Bucken with a knee brace just dangling off his leg at that point, and he just hammered the end of that wave. Like I said, straps everywhere. And here, very, very good of Leo Fioravanti to give way to Ace Bucken because uh, you don't want to interfere with the heat because you will be garnered interference even with somebody else in the heat with you that's not competing against you. Let's watch this again. Beautiful, straight up. That's why I am so surprised to not see him have better results here because he has one of the most precise backhands. You see, he loads up and then straight up. You see the twist of the body and attacks the lift, the most vertical section there, whipping it all the way around 180 degrees and pulling it down with straps dangling in his face. <laughs> Well, that's, that's annoying to watch. So uh, Adrian did so well to keep composure there, really unloaded on that section. It wasn't just the straps, it was actual brace dangling down as well. There's a 6.74 to get in front. Kanoe Igarashi now trying to find an answer because he might be chasing a score to get back out in front here. Up into that final section, hangs on to that move, waiting on numbers to drop for both competitors now. Um, you know, and already we've seen him the improvement that he's been able to do at Pipeline, which is by far one of the most radical ways on tour and one of the most important ways on tour to be good surfing there. 25 minutes to go. Adrian Bucking got himself a 6.6. .6. Not quite enough to get into the lead, but he's chipping away at the requirements.